Welcome to the Muxall Open IoT channel. I am your host, Michael Crane. If you have unsoldered your wire, then, then you'll want to watch this. If not, then you can skip to the next section. So, the soldered wire onto these toggle switches. Let me get them out of this. These are, these are, these little connectors here are just super handy. If you've never, I, I forget the name of them, they're WAGO 222. But, uh, yeah, that's WAGO, huh? 600 volt? Yeah, okay. It goes from 28 gauge to 12 gauge. So what we're going to do is we're going to solder these wires uh, back onto these terminal lugs right here. And, and if you've never done this before, this, this can be pretty challenging. And um, it can be a real hassle. So I, I thought I'd make a video just showing how to solder wire. Let's see, can you guys see that okay? How to solder wire onto these guys like that. So we'll solder this one on that, and then we'll solder this one on that. Actually, maybe we can do it from the bottom. That might be a little better. And maybe this one on the top. So let's get started. Okay, so before you're going to do anything like this, make sure to have it something to hold it still because you don't want it moving around. Uh, you know, don't try to balance it on the bench and have your elbow holding it while your fingers are trying to uh, solder the wire on, right? That, that never works. It's always good just to get a vise, set it up, take the time to, to mount it, or at least hold it still, okay? Now we're going to take... <laughs> I have, I have uh, some heat shrink tubing, 100 foot of it right here. It's like a lifetime supply of heat shrink tubing. But, uh, so we want a little bit of heat shrink to go to cover our solder joint. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut a little bit off here. And uh, a little piece here. Okay. Make sure to, wow, that wasn't a very good cut job. Look at that. <laughs> Let's see, it's been a long day. I think got another piece here. Okay. There we go. Make them even. Well, always want it to look neat. Make sure to put it on the wire before you solder it. I don't know how many times I have soldered something together and forgot to put the heat shrink on first. Okay, so next you want to pre-tin everything. Now these wires are already pre-tinned because I unsoldered them from this. But I'm going to go ahead and just kind of go through the motion and, uh, and show you. So we'll do the bottom one. We'll do the bottom oh. Make sure your heat shrink tube doesn't come off. And on this switch right here, it doesn't matter which one's top and bottom. It's just a switch. But yeah, you just want to put some solder on there. Let me zoom it in a little bit. Maybe that'll help too. Okay. Now we're just gonna... A little solder on that one, a little solder on that guy. And like I said, these have already been pre-tinned, so don't... Yeah, but you want to make it look nice and neat, and you don't want big blobs of solder on it. Well, I guess in this case, maybe a little blob wouldn't hurt. You just want, you know, a good amount of solder on it, on it, right? Okay. All right, so we're going to do the bottom one first, so everything's pre-tinned. And maybe pre-tinning's not really the right word. So the goal is, is to, we want to be able to, and oh, by the way, before I forget, whenever you're soldering a switch like this, it needs to be fast. Don't be sitting there screwing around <laughs> and heating this thing up because you will melt the switch and ruin it. So we've got solder on here, we've got solder on that, that pin, the, the switch pin. Now we're just, I'm just going to lay this soldering iron on there, heat it up, like that. 
And that's it. Don't be messing around with it. <laughs> I mean, you can you can inspect it, you know. You can see how, okay, well, it's, it's got a nice solder joint on that side. Let's see, can you guys... Yeah, see how, see how it just all melted into like one look at one, one, it looks like almost one piece, right? Okay. Yeah, don't, don't be sitting on that switch very long. You will, uh, uh, you'll melt the guts in it and, and then you'll be replacing it. Okay, so let's just do our other one right here. And I'm just going to lay the soldering iron on it. Ah, <laughs> yeah. See, that's what happens when you. Uh, that, that's how you know you're getting it too hot. If you can't hold it, you're getting it too hot. And uh, yeah, see, it kind of. I, I was messing around, wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. I let it slip off, then I had to add more heat to get it to solder. But it still looks pretty good. Hopefully, we didn't damage the switch. Probably not. These these things are pretty resilient. Yep, yeah, it looks okay on that side. Oh, I'm sorry, did you guys get a good look at that? Yeah, see, that looks okay, huh? And, uh, <laughs> well, we're talking about a greenhorn mistake. So, make sure that you let these, yeah, see, it's already cooled to the touch, so, yeah, we did good. We didn't heat up that switch at all. Uh, make sure you let these joints cool off before you try putting your heat shrink in place. Because I have done this several times. As I'm like, okay, I got it all soldered, let me put this in place, and I get it to about right there. That hot solder shrinks the heat shrink, and that's as far as it gets. Alright, so yeah, you don't want to do that. So, okay, that looks good. I'll put this down there, that looks good. Now, so now all we have to do is add a little bit of heat. Now, most people probably won't have a <laughs> an air. Let me back this up a little bit. Most people won't have an air soldering gun or rework gun, whatever you want to call this thing. But you can use your lighter. Just be careful. Uh, or you know, if you have a regular heat gun. But the goal is, is and everyone's done heat shrink before, is just to heat this stuff up um, so it shrinks. looks nice doesn't it don't forget you can support the Muxall open IOT channel by donation using a credit card and PayPal or by purchasing products at the Muxall store details and links are in the description under this video well that's it for this video if you like the video give it a big thumbs up that helps and hit the subscribe button that really helps if you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.